Pellet IoT University welcomes you to the video tutorials of the IoT portal. In this tutorial, we'll explain and demonstrate the store and forward feature of the DeviceWise Gateway. In this tutorial, we'll look at the TR50 store and forward feature of the DeviceWise Gateway. Store and forward allows you to determine what happens to your data in the event that your TR50 connection to the portal is disrupted. Your application may be such that there are periods of time when the gateway is not connected to the portal and data can't be sent, but that fact has no impact on the overall solution. Other applications require that data be sent to the portal and be able to temporarily store the data if it can't immediately be sent. The stored data is sent to the portal when the TR50 connection is re-established. The DeviceWise TR50 store and forward feature supports both of these scenarios. The setup for the TR50 store and forward starts on the TR50 SNF profile management tab. The add button opens the configuration screen where we give it a name and we select a storage type. The decision on where and how to store the data is determined by the configuration of the gateway, the amount of data we expect to have to store, and the importance of storing the data across a gateway restart. When determining this storage type, it's important to remember that memory will use RAM which typically has less capacity than disk, is usually faster than disk, but the data will be lost if device-wise is restarted. Choosing the disk option will use non-volatile storage. It's usually slower than RAM, but has more storage capacity than memory. And the data will remain if the device-wise gateway is restarted until it's successfully sent. So we're going to choose memory. Since we want to demonstrate this feature, we're going to enable it. The time to live TTL parameter sets the maximum amount of time that data can live in a stored state. There are options from one hour to one week and a custom option that allows you to select from 300 seconds to over 2 billion seconds. In case you don't have a calculator close by, 2 billion seconds is a little over 68 years. I'm guessing there are very few solutions that genuinely require data being stored for over 68 years, but it's nice to know the options there. We'll leave it set at 86,400 seconds, which is one day. The next set of parameters determine how much space we want to dedicate to this feature and what happens when we reach the storage limit. Turning on pruning and setting a pruning size deletes the desired percentage of the data when the limits hit. If the limits hit and pruning is turned off, the device will stop storing data. You can also specify how much storage space you want to use. You could specify from one megabyte to a little over 2100 terabytes of storage. If you're storing data for 68 years, the 2100 terabytes might be a good option. Now that we have a store and forward profile, we're going to see how it works with a publish property trigger and we're going to test it. I have a trigger built under my store and forward project. I'm going to open it and in the publish property box I have a store and forward profile drop down. I'm going to select the one I just created and to keep from getting a warning I'm going to connect the store and forward port, the gray one pointing to the left, to my end execution success. 
I'm now going to save this trigger, close the editor, and start it. And what I'm looking for here is the number of successes to go up when I refresh it. So you can see it went to 2124. This is running every second. It is now at 2127. So I am successfully publishing data to the portal. So now we're going to go back to our TR50 connect, connection management, and we're going to stop the TR50 connection, which should trigger our store and forward and start storing the data locally. So I'm going to stop the TR50, refresh it to confirm that it's stopped. It is stopped. Now on the store and forward queue management tab, you can see that my store and forward profile is now saving the data. So now that I have data being saved or stored, we'll restart the TR50 connection and that data will be sent. So my TR50 status is connected and if I go to my queue management, you can see there are no longer any items in the queue. As soon as it reconnected, the store and forward feature sent that data to the portal. Any trigger that is publishing data to the portal should have a configured store and forward profile associated with it to prevent data loss.